Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Home Style Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today, I want to show a recipe which I make the most, most and the mostest. So this is nothing but drumstick and cucumber, that is sweet cucumber rasam. So first we need drumsticks. So here I have the drumsticks. What you can do is, you can just cut into small pieces and if you want, you can just take a knife and you can just peel little of the skin. Usually some people do, some people won't. So if you have the habit of doing, then you can remove it. Otherwise, no problem. And the cucumber. So what I did is, I have taken the cucumber and I cut it into nice lengths and thin slices. Don't make it too thin slices or thick because we want both to be cooked equally. So I have cut it little bit thin. So these two are ready and we are going to add some onions also these also length. So let us start, just take a pan, in this we are going to add some oil and we are not going to use any rasam powder or anything, just homemade simple rasam. For tempering, I am going to add some cumin seeds and some mustard seeds and also some garlic. So what I am going to do is, I am going to take a ding chick and I am just going to crush this garlic. This we are going to add it in our rasam. Now, Add the cumin seeds, the mustard seeds and now you can add this garlic. You know this way we get nice flavour to our rasam. Just mix it once. You know whenever I make rasam, I add lot of garlic and you know I will search for the garlic when I have this rasam. So here the garlic is little bit colour. Now we are going to add some onions and also just some 2 to 3 pieces of green chilli because we are going to add red chilli powder and also pepper powder. So I am adding very less of green chilli. In this add some turmeric and now add the drumsticks. You know drumsticks takes little bit time. So what I am going to do is first I am going to cook for 2 to 3 minutes in a very very slow flame and then I am going to add the cucumber. So first I am going to cover this with a lid, before covering we are just going to add some salt. Now put it in slow flame and we are going to cook for 2 to 3 minutes. So dear friends, after 2 to 3 minutes in slow cooking, just remove the lid and you can see the drumsticks are little bit soft and now we are going to add the cucumber that is sweet cucumber. If you want you can add lot of it also, mix it nicely and now we are going to add some chilli powder and also curry leaves, mix it once and just add some water and we are going to cook for another 3 minutes and then we are going to add the tomatoes, just cover. So this is after 2 minutes of slow cooking, now you can see these are little bit soft, not too soft but you know now I can add the tomatoes. If you add the tomatoes before then you know this will not cook fast. So in the last if you add then your drumsticks and even the cucumber will cook fast. Now add the tomatoes, lot of tomatoes we are making a you know rasam so I want lot of tomatoes. If you want you can add little bit of tamarind juice also for sourness but today I am just making with tomatoes. What I am going to do is I am going to just cook for another 1 minute in little bit high flame by covering with a lid you know so that our tomatoes will be little bit soft and then we are going to add good amount of water to make our rasam. So dear friends another one minute just remove the lid you can see the tomatoes are nice and soft and even if you see the cucumber is perfectly cooked. I do not want too much soft. Now we are going to add water just check the taste once. I can add salt and also some crushed pepper. So what I am going to do is, I am going to take some peppercorns and in ding chick we are going to add this peppercorns. We are just going to crush it little bit and now I have crushed it nicely. We are going to add some pepper powder. You know whenever we make rasams, we want little bit you know that punch, we say gatu that should be there when you have the rasam. Just mix it once and we are going to boil it for another 2 to 3 minutes. And that is it, our dish will be done. If you want, you can add little bit of sugar for that little bit of that sweetness. 
I love to add it. If you want, you can add. Otherwise, you can skip it. So, dear friends, here you can see after two minutes, this is nicely boiling and our rasam is done. In the last coriander and switch off the flame. I already checked the taste. Everything is perfect. Dear friends, this rasam, I love to have it with rice and just keep one papad beside or some pickle. You will love this rasam and drumsticks and cucumber taste awesome and all these flavors are there in this rasam you guys make this and feed your family and also share with your friends and have fresh food see you in another session with some more recipes